Keine Ahnung. Oder, what time is it? 3.04. Sure 3.04. AM. AM. Way too early. We're just waiting for the uh, baggage people now. Because it's uh, too early to be checking in. Should uh, be opening though in about five or six minutes. Supposedly the website says that they open two hours prior to the first flight. I believe 510 is the first flight this morning, which is, I think is ours. So then that means they should be opening here about 310. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what just happened? We went to our checkpoint to try to go through How long did it take us to get through uh, actually getting our bags checked? It was probably about 20, 30 minutes from beginning to end. So they didn't open until 3.30ish for that, even though their website says it's two hours before they were the first flight, which means it should have opened around 3.10. How did security go this time, Mom? It was better than normal. We'll see when we come home for Orlando, though. That's where I usually get tagged. Yeah. How was your experience with security? Fine. Quick and easy. Although, if we would have known that we could have gone to the different concourse, we could have got through it quicker. Because they're still lined up at the concourse. They had to search me. They had to, like, grab my nuts and stuff. No, they didn't. They just... Apparently my left pocket lit up, but there's nothing. So I'm assuming my underwear bunched up and it looked bad. So he had to feel me up a little bit. The back, you know, a concealed weapon. We landed and we got our bags. She'll probably see some of that stuff. Now we're targeting getting water and food and stuff because we'll be in the room for a couple days and uh, they're all looking at me already. But yeah, we're here. It's like 50 degrees, so it feels weird because we're not used to like cold weather in Florida. Uh, 80 degree weather. Yeah, we're used to 80 degree weather. So, getting this stuff and then we're gonna go to the hotel, drop off our luggage, and then go. Resort hop, you guys will see that. Um, we'll check in when we get there. Alright, so we just dropped off the luggage at the resort. Now we're walking back to the car to start our little adventure of going to a bunch of different resorts, seeing all the decorations and stuff like that. Um, oh, let me just drop something. I'm gonna start, uh, probably start with camera after this, so it'll probably look a little bit different. But yeah, we made it. It's still, uh, 58 degrees, so it's not as hot as we're used to, but that's okay. Um, yeah, you will see probably resort stuff here in just a second. Ooh, we're back at it again. Now we're on the big ol' riggy poo. So it looks a lot better. Uh, so we were gonna go to Grand Floridian, but then they shut us out. Uh, there's too many people trying to park there and whatnot. It's that time of the year where they're trying to cut down on people park, or not park, I mean resort hopping. And so, um, yeah, we're gonna go ride the Skyliner. We're gonna go over to Caribbean Resort or Caribbean Cove, whatever it is. Um, go look at the decorations there. Come back to Pop Century, look at the decorations here. And then go to Disney Springs to eat lunch, finally, because I'm hungry. And then, yeah, that whole thing. Uh-oh, the mic's coming off. But yeah, um, that's what we're gonna do. So you'll see that here in just a second. <laughs> Where are we at right now? We just got on the Skyliner for the very first time. 
which is cool because now we're about ready to get here shot off. We oh, oh here's a uh, Guardians of the Galaxy to your right, Tyler. Woo, and there we go. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's got to kick off a little fast, doesn't it? This is pretty cool. There's air conditioning in here as well. No, it's no, not cross -breed. Oh, cross -breed. Oh, cross -breed. Welcome aboard the Disney Skyliner at Disney's Pop Century Resort so and Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Like we are hot. on our way to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort with connecting flights to Disney's Hollywood Studios and Epcot Caribbean. International Gateway. Star Wars with Star Wars with Chewbacca. Chewie and the Forbes. We are now gliding over Hourglass Lake. I'm glad we got Please one without the uh, decals for the first time. And enjoy yeah. the most magical flight on Earth. All right, so we just rode the Skyliner. You'll see some footage of that. That was it. Was it was interesting. It was uh, it was definitely different. What did you think of it? I liked it. I liked it. Uh, no, I don't think there's any issue with like heights because you know I've had people kind of sometimes be like I don't know because like I'm afraid of heights or this or that. But when you're up in there riding that, it doesn't really even seem like it's that high at all, really. Yeah, but you were. We took the shortest distance on this Skyliner ride. So there's other parts that get up really high, so we don't know how it is really to give it a true honest opinion. So I don't know if we'll ride it any further than what we have, but we'll wait and see. I thought it was fine. I, yeah, I, th it. I thought it was pretty fun. It was, it's different. Uh, the first initial, uh, first, first initial uh, ride, yeah, it was not too ride. bad. So we're at the uh, place now. Caribbean Beach Resort. Yeah, what she said. So we're gonna go and do that stuff. So I'll fill you in as we go. <laughs> so yeah, that, that stopped now. So good thing we got off when we did, because if not, we might be stuck up there and you'd be seeing some, you know, last goodbye videos since they couldn't rescue us. Now, hopefully it starts going soon. That would uh, not be the best thing to do, to be stuck in one of those just chilling. It's, it's had times where it stopped before. Usually it's not down that often. Usually just a few minutes here and there. So we've, we've seen some other videos where it's happened. Well, if it does happen, you'll see it obviously, so.